Hey everyone, today I want to talk about glasses. What can you deduce about someone from their glasses? Well, first off, this pair of glasses doesn't do anything, okay? The lenses are just pieces of plastic with no power in them at all. Possible reasons why someone would wear these? Um, fashion, disguise, uh, possibly to make you look smart. That's why I wear them. I think they make me look a bit clever. But, you know, this is a pair of glasses that doesn't do anything. Notice that it doesn't distort the image behind it at all. This, on the other hand, is a pair of glasses for correcting nearsightedness, okay? What it does is it makes my eyes look smaller. You'll notice that this effect is exaggerated if I move the glasses further away from my face. You'll notice my eyes getting smaller. The more powerful the lenses are, the more of this effect you'll notice. If it's hard to spot that I um, my eyes are smaller, look at it slightly from an angle in this angle, and you can see how it sort of um, bent my face inwards a little bit from the side. See, so you can see that on this side too. That's how you can spot that. These are glasses for correcting nearsightedness, which means um, nearsightedness is seeing things well up close, but having difficulty focusing on objects far away. Uh, lots of people are nearsighted, and for various reasons. Um, sometimes it's genetic. Um, they think it can also be caused by doing a lot of up-close stuff. Reading up close, using a computer screen, sitting too close to a television. Various things they think can contribute to being nearsighted. So, it doesn't necessarily mean that they like to read a lot, but it could. Remember, we're dealing with probability here. Um, it could infer that someone reads a lot. Um, on the other hand, you have glasses for correcting farsightedness. Farsightedness is the opposite of nearsightedness, basically. You see things well far away, but you have difficulty focusing on things up close. It's less common than nearsightedness. You'll notice that it does the same thing as the others, except in reverse. When I move it away from my eyes, my eyes get bigger. Okay? It will magnify the person's eyes. Now, notice how it's magnifying my eye when I do that. Again, uh, if you look at it from the side, you'll notice it's doing the opposite this side. It's doing the opposite of what the other one was doing. It's pushing my eye out, pushing my face, the image of my face, outwards, as opposed to inwards. See what I mean? So, these are for correcting farsightedness. Um, fewer people are farsighted than are nearsighted, uh, so it's a little bit harder to tell what you can tell about someone from that. Um, now you can you can spot these uh, whether someone's nearsighted or farsighted by the glasses they're wearing, or you can tell whether the owner of a pair of glasses is nearsighted or farsighted, if you just see the glasses. Also, uh, reading glasses and bifocals. Reading glasses are for helping you see things up close, you know, to, re to read up close. Uh, bifocals are similar. Uh, they, have, uh, they have two different powers. Um, one power in the lens for letting you see far away, and another power in a small section down here, or sometimes it's just the lower half of the lens is uh, this other power, but it's for helping you see up close bifocals, two different focuses. Um, and bifocals and reading glasses are most commonly, well, bifocals anyway, most commonly belong to older people. If you find a, bear, find a pair of bifocals, it most likely belongs to an older person. And by older, I mean f 40 or older, because um, almost everyone, if not everyone, um, their eyes, when they, when they get older, their eyes stop being able to focus as well, uh, so they have difficulty seeing things up close. So that's why uh, bifocals usually belong to older people. Not always, there are exceptions, as I said, but we're dealing with probability here. So bifocals um, and progressive lenses. Progressive lenses, they're harder to spot than bifocals because rather than being uh, up, you know, one power here and a different section that's distinct, it's more like a gradual gradient. It's like one power here and it gradually changes power as it goes up. A lot harder to spot. Um, people often wear those if they don't want it to look like they're wearing bifocals. Um, so, if a person um, uh, has bifocals, it's likely that they're 40 or over. If you find a pair of bifocals, it probably belongs to a person who's 40 or over. Um, so, to recap, glasses with no power are probably worn for fashion or to make you look smart or for disguise or something like that. Uh, glasses that correct farsightedness are, are less common, and they could be reading glasses, actually, because uh, the both of both reading glasses and glasses for farsighted people are for helping you see things up close. Um, they magnify your eyes whenever uh, you wear them. The more power there is, the more they'll magnify your eyes. Nearsighted glasses, 
opposite. They uh, make your eyes look smaller and they help you see things that are far away. These are more common. Often, um, or not often, but in some cases it can mean the person does a lot of things up close like reading or things like that. Um, and if they do a lot of reading it could mean that they are intellectual, they like to learn. Now again, look for confirmation of your various theories. Um, don't go by one piece of evidence to make your deductions. Um, so if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching, and I hope this information is useful. And I will see you in the next video.